Hi, it's Wendy Ray. Welcome to my Idol Recap. So we got to see the top 10 last night, and I actually really enjoyed the show. I thought it was a really good episode. I loved the, the uh, backstage stuff. Um, I liked seeing the contestants' reaction to the judges' comments immediately following their performance. So I liked that as well. Uh, I loved Usher. You know, great mentor. Um, <laughs> yesterday morning, uh, I woke up at like 5 a.m., and I couldn't sleep, and I was kind of sifting through the movie channels. And the movie She's All That from 1999 was on. And so I watched it. And Usher is in that movie. If you haven't seen it, he plays the campus DJ. And it was really funny to see how far he's come from in the morning when I watched the movie until the evening when I watched him mentoring these contestants and just doing an excellent job. And, you know, this guy's just cool. You know, if he's sitting in a chair, he's cool. If he's conversing with somebody, he's cool. If he's performing, he's cool. I mean, he's just really cool. So I really enjoyed uh, having him as the mentor. Our first performance of the night was Siobhan Magnus. Now, let's first talk about how great she looked. Uh, I loved the hair. It was so much better than that lion mane she had going uh, last week. Um, and I actually liked the outfit, uh, even with the boots. I thought it was really cute. I thought she looked good. Uh, was her, her best performance? Absolutely not. But, you know, Siobhan's worst performance is better than some people's best performance. So, yes, she was a little bit pitchy. But, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. This girl has been on every single week and done some stellar performances that were absolutely Flawless. So I want to cut her a little bit of slack for a performance that was not as perfect as some of the others. Um, but I think she did a great job. I think the judges were a little bit hard on her. Um, I really feel bad about her. The judges, you know, gave their opinion and uh, it was already hard enough for her. And then Ryan just kept on talking to the judges. And Siobhan was just about to cry. You could tell she was just holding back the tears. And I wanted to go shut up and let her get off the stage so that she can go cry. Uh, but they didn't. They just kept on and kept on and kept on. So I felt bad for her, wanted to give her a hug. Um, and I loved when they showed her backstage and Big Mike came over and gave her a big hug. I thought that was really sweet of him. Next up was Casey James. He sang Hold On, I'm Coming, and he sang it well. Um, I loved this performance. Um, you know, it was a great song choice for his voice. I thought he handled it very well. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it were the backup singers. Not that they're bad. I mean, of course, the backup singers are really good. But it was almost like they were overpowering him during their part. So I didn't like that. And I kind of wanted them to be back on the stage a little bit more. They were like right next to him. And I thought that was a little weird. So this is the only thing I didn't like about it. I love that Simon said he was great. Um, I think that uh, Casey needed to hear that. And so I'm glad that he did. Next up was Michael Lynch. What do you say about Big Mike? The guy is consistent. Week after week, he gives us a solid performance. Um, some are great, some are good, some are amazing. You just never know, but they're always solid. I love him. Uh, I loved watching him be vulnerable, sing a soft song. I thought it was really good, but I also like seeing him jump around like a big old teddy bear on stage too. So, uh, you know, I love Mike, and, and obviously the judges do as well. Next up was Didi Banami. <sighs> God bless Dee Dee. Uh, she sang, what did she sing? What Becomes of a Broken Heart? And uh, it was not good. Oh, it was, oh my gosh. You know, I was rooting for her. I felt so bad for her. She looked beautiful. The dress is hot. I loved it. Uh, but that was just was not a good performance. Now, I am going to tell you, she deserves some credit for her class. And let me tell you why. If you watch back my Road to Hollywood recap, you will see that I said I was worried that she was going to use the death of her friend to gain votes. And she has not at all. And again, last night, she did not. Even with Ryan pushing her to tell the story about her friend and why the song is so important to her, she didn't say a word about it. And it wasn't until Ryan actually kind of let us in on the secret uh, that we found that out. And if honestly, if you didn't know her background and you hadn't seen that clip of her and her friend, you wouldn't have known what Ryan was talking about. So I was really proud of her not using the death of her friend and respecting that love for her uh, and not using it to get votes. So good job, Dee Dee. You showed a lot of class. Next up was Teflon Tim Urban. I think that's a really cute nickname and it fits him perfectly because, you know, the kid is just always happy. And, you know, I wasn't a big fan of Tim at the very beginning, but I've grown to like him uh, through the weeks. Was it a great performance last night? Absolutely not. I didn't feel it. You know, Usher was trying to get him to really feel in love with somebody. Uh, in fact, he was saying, you know, pretend I'm the one you're in love with, but Tim obviously couldn't do that. He was really struggling with that, which was kind of funny to watch. So I didn't feel that, but you know, he was for the most part on key, like the judges said. At the very beginning, I heard some pitch problems, but for the most part, he did a pretty good job. Um, I was proud of him. I think he'll probably be in the bottom three again, as always. Uh, but you know, for Tim, it was a pretty solid performance. I did like Ellen's comment about him sneaking into the bedroom. I thought that was really very cute. Uh, Andrew Garcia was up next, and he sang Chris Brown's Forever, and he nailed it. Um, this was an awesome performance, and I kept thinking all during the performance, oh, God, please do not let the judges beat him up again. 
I hope that they noticed that this is an amazing performance, and they did. Uh, Randy even said, America, Andrew Garcia is back, and absolutely he is. I loved it, and I hope that you did too. Next up was Katie Stevens. She sang Chain of Fools, and um, let's, let's talk about the good first. The good is her voice was way better than previous weeks. She is getting better and better every week. Um, and I liked her hair. Her hairdo was really, really good. Okay, now the bad. First of all, the outfit was horrid. I mean, what is up with that little short outfit with the tights? The shoes were good, but that was about it. And uh, maybe it's the different in age. You know, I'm 42, she's 17. Maybe that's the style of the kids, but I hated it. Uh, but I didn't get this performance with her. Um, I didn't think she connected with the song, and it really kind of bummed me out because, you know, she's been doing better every week. And, and although this was a solid performance, it just wasn't great because I think the song choice was wrong. And that's just my own opinion. I'd like to hear what you think uh, about Katie's performance. Next up was Lee DeWise. He sang Treat Her Like a Lady. Now, you know I love Lee. I loved this song choice, and I loved this performance. He was flawless. Flawless is all I can say. The guy was amazing last night. The judges absolutely loved him. And I loved what Simon said. I wrote it down so I wouldn't get it wrong. He said, uh, this is the night your life may change forever. And that's absolutely right. Lee nailed it. And I was really proud of him. Awesome, awesome performance. Next up was Crystal Bowersock. She sang Midnight Train to Georgia, another perfect song choice for Crystal. And I loved seeing a different side of her. I loved her behind the piano. I loved her getting up and kind of walking around. I thought it was really funny how she kept her hand on the piano. You know, she was in those stilettos, and I'm sure Crystal's not used to walking in them. So it was good that she held onto the piano because we wouldn't want her to fall flat on her face. But I love the performance, and I agreed with Randy and Ellen and Kara that it was awesome. It was a great risk for her to take. I disagreed with Simon. Um, I like seeing her up there with the guitar, and I think it's great, and I think America loves that too, but, you know, it's okay to change it up a little bit. It's okay for her to take a risk. She's a talented enough artist to do it, and I think America was happy to see a different side of Crystal. That's just my opinion, but I really do honestly believe that. So, Crystal, keep it up. Change it up every week if you feel like it, because you are amazing. They ended the show with Aaron Kelly. He sang uh, Ain't No Sunshine. You know, he's just a sweet kid. I really like him. I thought it was a good performance. Um, I, I didn't think it was amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but he hit the notes really well. It was a good song choice for him. It fit his tone of voice. I, I really liked it. I really liked it a lot. Um, and, and Simon's right. He's not going anywhere. Uh, I think he'll be, he'll be in it uh, at least until next week. All right, so who were my favorites? All right, I told you last week I was not going to put Crystal in my favorites anymore. I can't. She's going to be in my favorites every week, so I want to talk about other people. She's there, but pretend she's not, and we'll talk about the others. Lee DeWise nailed it. He's my favorite uh, besides Crystal. Uh, and my other two, I liked Andrew Garcia because he's back, and Casey James because it was a fun performance to watch. I really liked it a lot. Who do I think is in trouble? Well, I've already told you. I think Dee Dee's in big trouble this time. Um, she got saved last week, but I think that this this might be it for her. I think Tim Urban's in trouble just because he's always in the bottom three, so I think he'll be there again. And I think Katie might have some problems, and I'll tell you why. Because of the song choice, I'm not sure her fans connected with that either, and so that makes me a little bit worried about her. She'll probably be okay, but I think she could be in trouble. This could be the week of a big surprise. Um, and, you know, we have the judges stay, save still in play, uh, so that could take effect. I'd like to know from you. Who do you think, if there was a surprise, the judges will save? I want, to, I want you to let me know. Like, you know, I know they'll save Crystal, but who else will they save? Would they save Siobhan? Would they save Michael? I mean, who else do you think uh, they would use the judges' save on if it were to be a big surprise? Um, I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow about the results show. Um, until then, hugs and make it a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.